So next game up here, we're going to stay in that noon time slot. And we we got a bunch of division games now, and I'm kind of kind of excited about it. The Chargers headed to Kansas City. Kansas City, a seven-point favorite, total of 55 and a half. Uh, look, last, last week's game with the Chargers was weird. And what I know about Kansas City is I don't believe that their defense can stop anybody. And I am going to trust that the Chargers are going to find a way to keep this thing relatively close. They almost always do. And so I'm going to I'm going to ride with that. It's not that the Chargers, you know, offense or defense has been mind-blowing at all, but once we get into these division games, for whatever reason, it's not like they have Kansas City's number, but they always keep this game close. I think 7 points is just too many here. Like I I, I like uh, but yeah. I like the Chargers defense right now. Well, yeah, I, I'm going to bet, I don't know this for a fact, I'm going to bet that against the spread over the last two or three years that the Chargers are actually pretty good against the Chiefs because the line's always inflated because the Chiefs are so good. The Chiefs are exciting to watch, and people like betting on the Chiefs. I'm with you. I'm taking the points. Touchdowns too much. They play field goal games. They play one-score games. They're playing them way too many, too often. It's really hard to blow somebody out if you can't stop somebody. It just is. At some point in time, you have to be able to shut somebody down. I just don't see this Chargers offense punting a whole lot. I'm uh, I'm actually looking it up as we speak. So over the last 10 games, we're going to do regular and postseason, and it doesn't matter where it is. Let's see. The Chargers, let's see, covered the last two. So they beat uh, Kansas City 38-21 last year. They lost to them 23-20 in September. I mean, this thing's always been within, you know, uh, the the highest score was 2017. Kansas City beat them 30 to 13. But if I remember correctly, that was a bad Chargers team, and they were badly injured in December. So yeah, I mean, it, Kansas like it, the Chargers have beat them two out of the last five times. Like it, it's it's not inconceivable. So Kansas City has beaten them by seven, by ten, and by three. Yes, I I think the Chargers can absolutely keep this thing close. I I trust them. So I'm I'm rolling with that. But do you think there's any world where the Chiefs are pissed off that they finally lost the September game and they just come out guns blazing? No. No, I don't think this team gets mad about so, hey, hey. All right, so let's say they are mad. What are they going to do? Yeah, well, they still, they're scored more than they've already been scoring. Yeah, they still they can't gonna, stop Are they going to finally play defense? No. Like, what are they going to do? Like, teams can get mad. They can be pissed off, but... What do you do? At some point in time, you got to be able to do something different than you've always done. You put up too many points, which is a great thing. You don't put up too many, but you never put too many points. But you put up so many points, your defense is on the field constantly because you score in four plays. Okay? So, so your defense can't stop anybody. It's just the style of play you're going to play. That just means you're always going to be in really close games with good teams. You're going to blow out all the bad teams. But good teams are going to be able to score with you. Yes. Yes. You are not incorrect. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.